Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ro Jones and I have a little bit of sage here that I'm burning just to get the good energy and the positive vibes going. <laughs> but um, seriously, so this is my new channel that I'm like, you know, because I want to talk to the people. Like I'm always talking to everybody around me. And they're always like, oh my God, you stay preaching. And you. then some people are like, oh, you give good advice. My mother calls me Sister Soldier. It's just, you know. But they all appreciate me, though, because I do help. I'm always helpful. And I love it. I want to help everybody. I'm a Virgo. Y'all might hear me say that a lot of times because us Virgos are kind of proud of being Virgos, if you know what I mean. But, um, all right, let me, let me. This is about to make me cough. Put that over to the side. So, the name of this channel is called GLOW. It's an acronym. I spell it G-Y-L-O. And that stands for Get Your Love On. Boo, y'all. Seriously, though. We are so in need of love. Like, love is who we are, though. Love is who we are. Love is what we do. Love is what everyone wants. Love is a universal language. So whenever you see someone that's sad or downtrodden or miserable or very mean and angry, they just want love. Like, they got a little love deficiency going on. But we gonna fix that. We gonna fix it. <laughs> so the name of this video is called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Yep, I said it. I said it. The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Because you know why? When we give a fuck, it takes us far away from that love, that self-love that's natural within us. And let me tell you exactly what it is that I mean, right? So, when we give a fuck, <laughs> I like dropping the F-bomb, that's my favorite curse word. <laughs> when we give a fuck, right, we often put others before ourselves as far as their needs go, as far as what they think about us, as far as what they expect from us, like the standards and the expectations, we put others above ourselves. Oh, look at my shirt. Kinda Kia, kinda don't, kinda Kia, kinda don't, kinda Kia, kinda don't, ooh, ooh. That goes exactly into what I'm talking about. Like, sometimes you can kinda care, but only when you want to. And you should never give a fuck about things that doesn't serve you internally and make you feel good and give you soul food. Seriously. We spend so much of our lives trying to appease other people, trying to be what we think people perceive us as, trying to do things to get that compliment, to get that validation. But fuck that. Like, it doesn't matter. Me, personally, I spent so much of my life, like, literally giving too much of a fuck about what people thought about me, about how I made people feel. I think it's just because I'm a Virgo. Once again, I'm dropping the B word. <laughs> but seriously, like, Virgos are, like, natural, like, worker bees. Like, we always want to help people. And it's just like a second nature thing. And sometimes you can get taken advantage of. And I'm not saying that that's only exclusive to Virgos, just people in general. If you're empathetic, if you love hard, if you're very nurturing, if you if you have a lot of abundance, sometimes, you know, we let people take advantage of us. And I don't mean just financially. I mean abundance by way of energy. Like, we're like plants. We soak up energy from each other. The way that plants soak up like the sunlight and the rain we soak up energy from one another. So it's very important who you exchange energy with, absolutely. But it's also important for you to take note of how you give your energy out to people. And when you give a fuck too much, it drains you. Because guess what, baby? Your natural internal compass, that intuition that you got going on to you, going on to you, going on inside of you, pause. <laughs> It gets like jumbled up like a big pot of jambalaya because you're not being yourself. You're worrying too much about, you're giving too much of a fuck about what people think, what people, how people feel. Like seriously, I have suffered for a long time because I cared about what people thought. 
Like, I had people trying to tell me how to dress. I had people telling me how to talk. Like, friends saying, oh, well, you a little too hood. Or Then I had my hood friends saying, you act like a white girl. It was just like, what the fuck? Like, how, how? Like, when you give a fuck so much, you lose yourself. And especially when you're super young, that's like, and you're super impressionable. Oh my God. Like that, it really starts from being like a kid. Like, I think, I believe we're our most impressionable, like in between the ages of zero to five. And that's when you learn your habits. That's when you learn how, like you get a bit of a footing for your personality in the world. And think about it. Our parents condition us to give a fuck about what they think because we're always trying to please our parents and then they put us in the school system and then we have teachers that saying, well, if you behave in this way and you make me feel, you know, good, then I'll give you a better grade. And then your peers, oh my God, if kids are fucking brutal. Kids are brutal. Damn. Like, it ain't nothing like a kid. So, we have to like relearn and rework our brains as we get a little bit, you know, older and to some of us who are ready to take that journal that spiritual journal to like becoming more in tune with who we really are you gotta filter out the giving a fuck about what people think about what people feel and that's not to say that you know you shouldn't take into account how people feel because we have to live in this world with people but what i'm saying is that what you think and how you feel needs to be like at the fucking top 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 of any list of any fucking pyramid of any food chain of any whatever you want to call it it needs to be at the top okay let me tell y'all a little example of when i gave a fuck and i got my motherfucking feelings hurt <laughs> oh my god this might be the only i don't know i don't i don't i, I mean i kind of have a potty mouth but i don't think that like since this video is called the art of not giving a fuck like of course i'm gonna drop the f-bomb a lot but I may not necessarily do this every video that I share with you guys. That's my point. Anyways, so I live in New Jersey, right? I'm not super far outside of the city. Like, I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> and one of my homegirls was like, oh, come and meet me in the city. Come and meet me. Come and meet me. And I really didn't want to. Like, I was at home, you know, comfortable, like, on a couch, like, probably binge watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> and she was like oh come meet me come come so I was like okay I hadn't seen her in a while you know I love her you know my heart is soft and pink and like warm and fuzzy and stuff so I take my ass all the way to New York right I get there we go to I, I, we're supposed to meet at this restaurant like this like popular taco joint like they ain't paying me to advertise AJ, so I ain't about to say the name. But you probably know what I'm talking about if you're from New York. <laughs> so I get there, right? And before, like, I get to the spot, I'm like, hey, girl, like, what's up? Where are you? She's like, oh, I'm a block away. So I'm like, okay, she a block away. I'm about to see her soon. Like, whatever. So I get to the spot. She's not there. So I'm like, all right, I'll give her a few minutes, whatever. I called her multiple times, no answer. I'm sitting there for, like, a half an hour and I'm like, is she okay? Like, things happen. Like, you, like, homegirl could have gotten into a car accident. Anything could have happened. Nothing. No call, nothing. So I end up eating. Like, I'm telling the, the waitress. She's like, oh, well, you know, is anyone else coming? And I'm all embarrassed, looking sad, looking lonely and desperate. Like, I got stood up on a date. And I was like, no, my friend, my friend. You know, people lie and say they waiting for their friend, their homegirl, when there's actually a dude that stood them up. So it was kind of humiliating to be sitting there in that restaurant. I ended up having some tacos that I didn't really want. And I ended up having a couple margaritas that I could have done without. And I got stood up. In that moment, that girl didn't give a fuck. And I'm not saying don't give a fuck in that way to where as you are inconveniencing someone like that and being really selfish and being hurtful because that was really hurtful. Like to be sitting there waiting and then for it to just get brushed off like, oh, and this is not the first time this friend has done that. Like I still love her, but because I gave a fuck and didn't listen to my true, like I went against my real will by leaving my house. Look what happened in the long run. So that is my point to you guys. Put yourself first above anybody else. Because when the time comes, 
Homegirl is going to send you up and not give a fuck. <laughs> Let's just keep it. A spade is a spade. <laughs> but seriously, don't give a fuck about what people think. Don't. It's, it's easier said than done, I know. Because trust me, I have been that girl that was people pleasing, that was trying to do everything to make everybody feel comfortable. But at the end of the day, I was shortchanging myself. When you don't want to do something, listen to your intuition. Follow that gut feeling that you shouldn't do something. You could be saving your own life. You never know. Or you could be saving yourself from sitting in a restaurant like me, lonely drinking margaritas. <laughs> I'm kind of goofy, y'all. <laughs> Excuse me. But seriously, since I've adopted this way of living, oh my God, like my life has been so much better. I have been in less awkward situations. I have been around less people that I don't vibe with. I've just been in such a better state of mind. Like, ugh, my skin is clearer. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you know, the, it's the don't give a fuck, the stress-free, but it's also a little bit of shea butter, some coconut oil, and black soap skincare regimen. I got y'all on that. I got y'all on that. I'm going to do a video on that. <laughs> but seriously, don't give a fuck. Glow. When you care more about what other people think and what, how other people feel more than yourself, it takes you further and further away from that love, from that self-love, from the greatest love of all. Whitney Houston said it. Learning to love yourself is the greatest love of all. And not giving a fuck about other people above yourself, it puts you that much closer. It has been a little lonely, though, not giving a fuck so much because uh, I ain't got too many friends no more. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, but I'm talking to y'all and maybe we could become friends, you know, like it does help you to weed out the people that's not your people when you are not people pleasing or trying to like mold yourself to be more of what you think people want you to be. You get more to the realness, the authentic people, the people who are more than capable of accepting you for you and you don't got a fucking shooking job and like put on a show and like pretend to not be like a chick that might be like nah man or a girl that'd be like oh my god yes it's like bro i'm myself i just have i don't think i'm schizophrenic i don't know i just have different facets to my personality and i don't want to have to change and i don't think that you should have to change who you are so that you can hang around people that at the end of the day, if they have to choose someone, they're going to choose themselves. For me, not giving a fuck has made me more confident in myself, more confident in my own ability to trust my own judgment. Because now I don't feel like I need the validation. I don't need the fucking peanut gallery. I don't have to consult with 20 people to make decisions for my life. And when I gave a fuck, I did. Because I felt like those people, their opinions matter at all. They are important. But it's like, girl, sister, girl, like, no, you're important. You're just as smart as anybody else. If not smarter. <laughs> Let me stop. But seriously. Comment on this video. Like, share, subscribe. I'm going to come here and talk to you guys way more often because I just like it. And I want to know, like, have you been in a situation where you gave too much of a fuck and it didn't work out in your favor? Or are you now not giving a fuck and it's like miraculous things are happening? Let me know. I want to know. I want to know. Share your secrets. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go and I want everybody to glow. Once again, G-Y-L-O, get your love on. Woo Peace. Oh, wait, no. Peace. I learned that. Togetherness and unity is supposed to be this sign from this guy. His page on Instagram is called Shaka Bars. He's amazing. Like, super smart, super soulful. All right. Later.